Hello everyone, welcome to yet another exciting episode for Blackboard utilization and how you can build a successful course content on the Blackboard platform. I believe that you have submitted and you have converted your Blackboard system to the present format that you have seen right now on my screen and you have added all the important stuff on the main page or the home page. Of course, just to recall back, you can customize your page directly from this particular icon for the color themes and precisely if in case you want to update or add certain modules, you can move in here and you can update the modules directly from here. For example, if in case you just don't need to have alerts, you can try to remove that or probably let's say I want to remove the academic material anything that you just don't want to fall on your blackboard probably you can just try to remove it directly by clicking in the remove button so for example needs attention I don't want that I'm gonna remove that and it will be removed from my blackboard so the condition is anything which you wish to keep it inside your main page you would be able to handle with this type of simple widgets that are available on the main page. Alright, so let's try to just deep dive in and build some contents. So of course, if in case you move into the course content place, you would get to know that there are a couple of things that you can do. You find some predefined items that are of course hidden from the students, but they are given from the administration side. Uh, maybe it comes from the system administrator or maybe it's from the university or maybe it can be any type of information that floats uh, restricted for yourself but we'll try to move ahead instead of the course content let's go to the documents and you can see that I have uploaded one document which is the course specification now I just want to tell you that this is the main document page where you can try to upload important documents like presentation schedules, uh, probably the course materials, maybe some kind of specifications or any specific formats, let's say the reports or any type of assignment format. So in today's session, I'm going to tell you how you can upload your lecture slides into the Blackboard platform without any problems. So let's move into the course content and of course you don't find any folder here so all you have to do is you have to move into the build content section and you can create a content folder now of course it's gonna ask you what is the name of the content folder for me I'm gonna say hey I wanna create the lecture slides and then I'm gonna move in and just gonna write down a small description for the text slides for the lecture notes and that's it what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna permit the users to view the contents and of course I'm gonna track these files how many users have viewed the file ex exclusively and uh, probably you can also in advance try to upload your lectures let's say you have a lecture ready for the upcoming weeks you can apply and you can define a date that it will be visible after what time so for me I believe that uh, I'm just gonna make it a 31st January because the sessions already begin from that time and I wanna display till the end of the session for this year so I'll move in till June 10 so that the guys can just have a look till June 10 so all the contents inside this folder will be visible till June 10 and people will be able to find out whatever you're uploading in there directly so I'm just gonna submit it out and there you have your fresh new folder probably you can just try to move in and check all the properties that are associated with this folder you can try to uh, re-edit the items and make it unavailable if you want to hide it from the students you can have a release adaptive release and probably you can try to put in some more statistical reporting or maybe the progress of the users who is tracking and by the end whenever you hover your mouse on any of the topic you will see some text appear
appearing inside this white rectangle which is talking about what this option is doing for you so it becomes really easy like you know you have some uh, highlighting factors that makes it possible for all your stuff to be managed directly and you will have a clear understanding of what this particular option can do for you so let's try to move it to the lecture slides and hey it's time to add content so you can try to build your contents of course because I name it as lecture slides I can try to just move in and upload items inside there or I can paste some tests or surveys or assignments and I can just try to use some tools in here you have a long list of all of them which we'll be covering uh, in the later part of our video series and of course you can just manage some contents of like textbooks or maybe content market if in case you have some contents purchased from online or from other vendors or other places so right now at this stage I'm gonna just upload one of the files let's say I'm gonna upload a file and let's say this is my lecture number one so you can open the lecture in new view a new window or maybe you can align it to the content so I think you should leave it as default let it be like that and just track the number of views precisely you can also decide for a particular file when it will be available or not so now remember the previously available folder you have defined the dates but inside the folder for every individual file also you can try to define the values when this particular file will be available and when it is not available so the folder is available for the whole semester but maybe inside the folder the files are available from some date to some date so I believe that let's take it till June itself the same date and if you want you can manage the timelines and you can select the time from the menu items and that's not gonna be a big problem so you just browse the files and hey this is my first lecture so I'm just gonna click it and paste it in and now once the lecture is uploaded and everything goes good all you do is just submit the item perfect so now you have a lecture ready inside this folder and if in case you will have a quick look at this part this lecture slides will be visible to the students exactly the same way as they appear step by step so just trying to revise, revise again you have a uh, course content and you try to prepare a folder now and inside the folder you have first lecture likewise you can try to upload all the lectures that you have step by step or maybe with a specific timeline I have one more add-on for you just in case by mistake you upload a lecture which is not mentioned for the students of this course you can try to either make it unavailable or you can delete it so I'm gonna delete it just to give you a demo and that's all the folder becomes empty the lecture slides becomes empty here so in case if you have by mistake done any lectures which was not supposed to be for the student so a quick fix is make it unavailable or you can try to delete that as well you can follow the same strategy for full folder as well so you can try to delete the folder and then it will be deleted so that makes a really smooth functioning of managing your content of the course and I think it will be really good approach if you upload all your PowerPoints or your PDF files for your lecture sessions inside the blackboard to make it very effective course so I wish this video was really helpful for you and I hope that you will also try to build up all your course content in specific folder formats so till we meet next time this is Nair signing off thank you so much for being there have a nice day